Oh, who's there? There's someone at my door. And then, gzh, gzh, a little Tikolo, she staring at me deep in my eyes, demanding things from me, or else I'll get 2020 premium. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. It's October, and you know what that means. Absolutely nothing. This is the RS of A. Halloween is a scam, among other American holidays. So, I can tell you why we don't do that here. I could bore you with facts, but you're not here for facts. You're not here for statistics. You are here for the holy commandment of enjoyment. You are here to be entertained. The Entertaininator. We got some real sketchy stuff that goes bump in the night, man. And this is 2020. Anything will happen. Science be damned. Sorry, science, don't happen again. Please forgive me. The kind of things that would give 2020 a 4 out of 10. Because so far, it looks like everyone's gonna survive. We have things like Pinky Pink. It is, hear me out. It is a half man, half lady amalgamation that lurks in public toilets around the country. Upon making visual contact with you, it will hunt you down, murder you, shove your corpse down a toilet, and attempt to flush you just cause you saw it. And then we have something called Rahamur. From what I've heard, it's either one dude that can teleport, or a bunch of dudes that are psychic linked that will, that will just one will come after you come either buzz face to face behind you either way they will batman drop onto you whack you upside the head with a hammer as hard as they can and one of two things will happen one you are the lucky few that survived to tell about it or number two <laughs> let's just say you're not gonna beat thor in a fight and then number three is the mystical Hama H3 with tinted windows. This thing would just grab you off the street if it didn't run you over at first. There was a 50-50 of either or happening. Run you over, steal you, or if you were just that unfortunate, run you over and then steal you. Because you're worth it. And now you want me. As a child, I was skinny, right? I looked like a lollipop. You want me? to walk around with that nightmare fuel for a bag of sweets? <laughs> I'm not doing that. That biscuit is not worth the risk it. Nah, no kid should be doing that at night. And then we get to the adult side of things. Because I'm not only considering kids. I am somewhat a reasonable adult. When there's science involved. And who's it? But I've thrown science out the window. Again, science, I'm sorry. Please don't hold it against me. I still love you. Oh man, let me tell you the things that my parents are scared of. Specifically my mom. Because she was the only one that answered me when I asked this. From my mom's side of the culture, we had rules. We had rules like, don't clean the house at night. If you do, you'll get rid of our life. You know, like that episode from American Dragon when Jake did the exact same thing, except he did it in the daytime. For us, it's specifically at night. Do not sweep, clean, or do anything to the house at night. Because if you do, and for some unexplained, unfathomable reason, you decide to throw that stuff out, grab some holy water and some holy hand grenades. Because you'll be battling the witches and sangomas that have bewitched you, child. We have the holy hand grenade. Yes, of course. The holy hand grenade of Antioch. Do not go back. Do not dare borrow. Do not have salt in your possession at night because if you do you are a witch my child and you will face the business end of a holy hand grenade once they have captured you and blown you to smithery they will use your pieces to make a human torch to find your fellow witches i'm not exaggerating and last but certainly not least i was taught specifically because i have short vision i am blind as a bat my mom said, my child, if anyone calls you and you cannot make visual eye contact, do not answer. I thought it was just because I'm short-sighted. No, she told this to my older sister, me, and my younger brother and sister. She told the whole us generation, do not do such. Because if you do, oh my child, kiss your soul goodbye. Because it belongs to that pajama-wearing basket face. Slipper wielding, Clyde three buckled, gather up and play more, blithering terminal, 
Jesse old looking stoner, near fluky sound milk drinking, soy face so pit moved, sniveling where my hood and walk, while stooching calibre tatty. That stole your soul. When I asked my dad, hey, what are your legends? He just locked off into space, took off his reading glasses and gave me a Vietnam War flashback. He was so traumatized that he transferred it to me. Also, hired lightning strikes are a thing. No jokes, you can just get a kid who can go buy you a budget Zeus and ruin your day. Now take this all into consideration. With all the bump in the nights and all the legends waiting for you, now you have kids running around in Thor costumes, throwing literal Ragnarok lightning around like a toy. And you want me to go, Oh, who's there? There's someone at my door. And then, dish, dish, a little Tikolo, she staring at me deep in my eyes, demanding things from me, or else I'll get 2020 premium. <laughs> Nuts to that. Calling my mom and her society ladies, they'll be praying in tongues. I am grabbing the holy hand grenade, and I'm gonna go clear up the streets, man. And I'm not letting this happen, man. And after I clean up October, I have another target. Oh, hey.